Hello, everybody. Welcome to Talk About Houses. I'm Todd. I'm Lana. So today is actually a two for Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Because we this is our second video today. Okay. We did the market update. We wanted to do this one because it just it, this information just came out. We mm -hmm. don't want to wait. Okay. The good news is FHA just published a rule on uh, forty year loans, mm -hmm. which is a cool thing because what they're doing is they're letting people. Uh, with approval, modify the loan from a 30-year loan to a 40-year loan. That means an existing loan. It doesn't mean that you can get a 40-year mortgage right off the bat. Yep. It means that if you have an existing loan, you have a 30-year loan, and let's say that you're in year 27, meaning you've, you've paid three years off and you have 27 years to go, they'll let you tack on another 10 years effectively making that a 40-year loan. Um, so that's a good thing, for particularly for people who had some difficulties during the pandemic um, and got behind, that's a really good thing for people. The number of people in default of their mortgage right now is the lowest it's ever been mm -hmm. almost. The number of foreclosures is the second lowest year ever. Mm -hmm. It's not predicted to be uh, very high this year. We're at historic lows for that. So something like this really makes it hard to have a shadow inventory, foreclosure crisis, like stuff that would cause, because ultimately the last housing collapse that we had, the only one we've ever really had, not counting Great Depression, was because of speculative building mm -hmm. and a bunch of foreclosures where they, all the homes got dumped in the market. For, if basically, they were all put back on the market and right. sold, right? That lo is looking like that is not a factor now. Right. So, you know, obviously things are substantially different than they were then. But this is a cool thing. Um, there's been talk about 40-year mortgages for a long time. Yeah. And so this is kind of an interesting experiment that um, is going on with FHA loans. And so we'll have to kind of watch and see what happens with it. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, this is good for homeowners that mm -hmm. are having struggling or whatever. They can get their payment reduced, re get their loan redone. Um, I don't think this could be used that much. Maybe people currently that are buying with FHA because all the people who already bought with FHA have ridiculously low payments. Mm -hmm. right. Like their payments are super low. They're under three, a lot of them are under 3%. Mm -hmm. Right. So they don't really need a 40 year loan. It doesn't, the, 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 that number uh, is, becomes less meaningful it, the lower your interest rate is. Right. Because you're already not paying much interest. Right. So then um, that kind of begs the question, why are they doing it and why are they doing it now? I don't know, but it what so it, this took a year. They proposed it last spring of twenty two, mm -hmm. and it just passed like a couple days ago. The FA put or uh, the uh, the housing, the FHA, not the FHA, the um, who Depart regulates housing, Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD. Yes. HUD just put out their opinion letter that they're allowing this now. The forty year, they have a like a commenting period where people mm -hmm. comment on and everything. But they said, hey, let's do it. 40 year for lenders, you can go out to 40 years now for loan mod and we're okay with that. Interesting. Yeah. So this is for loan modifications only, not brand new loans. So that that's an important distinction. Um, so tell us what you think. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I mean, I personally think it's a good thing for the borrower, yeah. uh, particularly because in an inflationary period, they get to pay back uh, a loan with... Um, inflated dollars so that that's good for them i think it's good for people who are struggling um you know and it certainly makes the mortgage even more affordable than before uh, particularly versus rent in most cases you know if you've got this type of a situation um your mortgage payment is probably less than rent yeah so tell us what you think we, we'd like to know uh please like the video share the video subscribe the notification bell and we'll see you on the next video bye bye